Boy, I'll tell you, Doctor. <laughs> oh, I'm sure glad you're here, sir. My gosh, how long has it been, sir? Uh, since you've been here. I've been here most every day, William. You have? Yes, I have. Well, I haven't been able to hear you or or see you, sir. Because you were wearing on that air with me. Oh, I see. Oh, the frequencies weren't right or something like that? That's your right, William. That is your right. Uh, uh, just a moment, sir. I said, could you wait a moment, sir? Very well. Yes, sir. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong, sir. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, sir. I'm just adjusting the frequencies. No, I say you're right very well. By the way, William. Yes, sir. Uh, you were all that uh, telephone numbers I gave you. No, sir. Why not? Well, Dr. Mueller, those are unlisted telephone numbers. That's your right. All right, now if I. Oh boy. Even though I give, you know, when they answer and I give the code, even then, sir. Wouldn't they wonder, you know, uh, maybe there's another code or something, and considering what they're involved in... You don't worry about that. Yes, but I do, sir. I do worry about that, sir. You know, what, you know, that one fellow especially, sir, that, uh, you said he has a, uh, a Q clearance? That's correct, a secret. A secret, Q clearance. Uh... Supposing they found out it was me, okay? And uh, they wanted to know how I got a, got a hold of the uh, unlisted telephone number. Now, who would believe where I got an un these unlisted... Oh, boy. Don't worry about that, William. You have nothing to worry about in that respect. Well, I don't know, sir. Oh, yes, William. Yes, sir. About IFRC, the Integrated Frequency Response Treatment. Yes, sir. Have you had any response? Mm, well, response. Yes, I've had some response on IFRC. Our friend. Your friend. Yes, our friend has uh, been handling that, sir, and uh, he sent me some Xerox copies of some rather positive results. Well, they use it in a clinic somewhere, I think it's a clinic, somewhere in uh, Florida. Oh, I see. And, uh, well, uh, well, that, that's about it, sir. Did you call that number? Which one's that, sir? Which one is that, sir? What did you say, sir? I'm talking to somebody else, William. Oh, I see. Yes, sir. You only arthritis foundation. No, sir. I uh, I've been letting our friend uh, handle that, sir. William. Yes, sir. Are you making an adjustment, sir? No, 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 I'm just, um... Hello? William? Yes, sir? The arthritis foundation. You will spend, you will spare no expense or time to give IFRC. Mention your name, sir? Yes, William. Uh, in what respect, sir? Well, I was quite interested in, um, in, uh, treatment of arthritis and also, you know, yes, by the way, William, did you make that other telephone? Oh, I'm hearing, uh, I'm absolutely 
A capsule of cancer. Oh, I know what you're talking about now, sir. No, sir. Dr. Mueller, please, sir. Yes, sir. Turn the camera off. Well, sir, I like to record this so that if you should tell me something, sir, you know, and uh, I forget, I'm trying to remember, I can always play this back, sir. Well, Dr. Mueller? All right, sir. night, sir. What about last night, William? You know, Dr. Mueller? Yes, William. I would just as soon, sir, if you didn't uh, tell me some of those things. You'd rather not be informed, sir. Well, it's not that I would rather not be informed, sir, but Oh boy, some of the things you tell me, sir, are frightening. One moment, sir. What's that, William? I said one moment, sir. Oh, I see. Give me a count, sir. Would you do that? Very well. One. Yes, yeah, sir. Did you notice any difference, sir? No, I did not. Well, I just wondered. I, uh, when I'm done, either uh, tonight or tomorrow night, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to use the, uh, the RF general our, our, our uh, friend brought up here. Our friend, sir. He is our friend, sir. Oh, yes, oh, sure. All right, William. Very well, if you say so. Well, anyway, then uh, I think I've got that whipped now, and I'd like to try that, sir. Very well. Uh, during the interim. What? Uh, during the interim. Oh, oh, during the interim, yes, sir. Well, nothing, nothing in particular, sir. But once again, sir, I would, I'd just as soon that you didn't, you know, when you had me shut off the system, and after you told me, oh boy, it's frightening, sir. Of course. Of course it's frightening. You should be frightened when you should be frightened. Well, I don't know. William. Yes, sir. No, sir. Well, I insist that you do, William. Now you must understand one thing, William. Yes, sir. I cannot be here forever. I cannot guarantee how long I can be visiting here. However, I will, I will do my best. Do you understand, William? Yes, sir. There's a time and a place for everything. As I have mentioned before, there's some things I think you should be aware of, William. Yes, sir. No, this does not necessitate that you communicate this information to anyone else. As a matter of fact, I would suggest that you don't, that you don't refer this to anyone else. You understand, William? Yes, sir. Oh, I see. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, William. Boy, that, uh, that new presence detector is something again. Yeah, I, I thought you were, I thought you'd be impressed. Yeah, instead of, uh, a chart, well, in so many words, uh, the last,
cab here is filled with a, uh, a field of energy. Is that correct? A field of energy, sir. Well, you might say that. And any, anyone entering the room, either me or you or anyone else, and that tone is audible downstairs and I'm not here in the lab, that I hear that tone fluctuate, that I know that there's a presence here in the room, whether it's me or my wife or whomever. Yes, William, or whomever. Yes, or whomever. Huh? Oh, boy. I can't wait to pass that on. I hope you won't object to me passing that on. I have no objection to that, William. Uh, let me see. There's something else I was going to mention. Dog done it. I can't think what it is. Shake your dime, William. Shake your dime. Uh, let me think. Uh, something I wanted to ask you, sir. Shake your dime, William. Shake your dime, sir. There'll be other times, William. Yeah, you, you say there'll be other times, and then just a few moments ago you said that... Well, something like... Oh, you didn't say you couldn't be here forever. I forget what you said. Let's get on with it, William. Yes, sir. Dr. Mueller? Dr. Mueller? Oh, boy. William, I'm sorry, William. Oh. What, sir? What did you say, sir? I'm sorry to somebody else, William. You want a moment, please? Okay. Yes, sir. Dr. Mueller? I'm here, William. My mother, William. Sir. Are you making an adjustment, sir? No, William. My mother, one moment, please. No, oh, no, I'm not making it. Yes, I'm still here, Doctor. Very well, let's get on with it. All right, sir. <clears throat> now, uh, you seem somewhat upset about, uh, about Mr. Meek sending that thing off to the, uh, the governor of Pennsylvania. Well, forgive me, Dr. Mueller, but I was the one who suggested it, since I read it in the paper that, uh, uh, Pennsylvania has the highest, what is it called, George, called, or incidence of arthritis of any state in the Union, and uh, he, the governor, Governor Thornburg, had appointed five different people, one of them a medical doctor, to investigate, make a study of uh, arthritis in Pennsylvania. Well, anyway, uh, he said, he didn't send a schematic now. Don't misunderstand me, doctor. Very well. He uh, sent uh, some Xerox copies of the uh, positive reports from this uh, clinic, I think it is, in Florida. <coughs> and uh, along with an outline as to how it's to be used. And... Uh, since I wanted to remain anonymous, well, after all, it's not mine, sir. It's your, it's your design. It's your design, sir. 
But he did mention that, he told the governor that he has a friend in Pennsylvania, me, he's referring to me, would be glad to demonstrate it, how it's to be used and whatnot, and uh, asking uh, that they pay me a a hundred dollars a day, how about that? And that, and uh, all traveling expenses. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are you making an adjustment, sir? No adjustment. Yes, sir. Well, I, I told you how he submitted this all to the governor of Pennsylvania to see if they wanted to use this as a part of their study. I see. Well, I think that is very foolhardy. Foolhardy? Yes. Why, sir? Well, in proper perspective, the governor of Pennsylvania would probably be motivated politically. motivated as opposed to a sincere desire as concerns the arthritis in Pennsylvania or anywhere else in the world. Well, I don't know, sir. You say politically motivated? That's correct. Well, after all, sir, even the governor must feel that maybe someday he'd suffer from arthritis and if this would be a cure, what would politics have to do about that? Politicians don't think of that. When they are politically motivated, do you understand, William? I don't understand politics, sir. I see. All right, very well. Let's get on with it. All right, sir. Well, I'll tell you what, sir. Why don't I shut the system down, switch over to this other RF generator, and see if it's stable now, sir. Very well. Oh, yes, William. Yes? Yes, sir? Yes, sir? Did you obtain that, that form of mine yet? Oh, that book of yours? No, sir. By the way, our friend, uh, Mr. Meek, is really going all out to find that because I want to read those two pages you mentioned, sir. Very well, and I want you to read them, William. There must be copies available somewhere. Well, I think, uh, George, it's Mr. Meek, our friend. Your friend? Yes. Uh, even if he has to go to the Library of Congress, he'll probably do that. Oh, I see. All right. Well, very well. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's get on with it. Well, as I mentioned, sir, if you don't mind, sir, while you're here, I'm going to shut this equipment down, change from this old, old equipment, as we call it, to this RF generator, and see if it's stable now, sir. You're very well. I'm going to shut it off now, Doctor. No, I, I turn it on, sir. Oh, I see you very well with it. Now we're using uh, the uh, RF generator. As I told you, sir, I uh, 
took a tuner tonic and I cleaned, you know, squirted all of the controls. And it's, uh, it's been on now for an hour and a half, so it's pretty stable, sir. Very well. Does that uh, seem any better to you, sir? Well, it's, uh, it's a much basier. Basier? Yes, William. Well, uh, try an inflection, sir. A uh, what? An inflection. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll tell you what, sir. Give me a count. Give me a count of five first, sir. Very well, William. Give me another five, sir. Very well. One, two, three, four, five. Not all right, William. Give me another count, sir. Very well. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, uh, better leave it there, sir. But everything else adjusted properly. Oh boy, give me a recitation, sir. What's that, William? I said, give me a recitation, sir. I'm screaming, sir. What's that, William? I said, give me your recitation, sir. You know. Oh, I see you very well. Mary Addie, the lamb, its face was white as snow, and everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Well, yes, sir, but it, uh, I don't know, for some reason or other, it don't, I can't explain it, sir. It's, uh, I think, I'm going to have to check this out, sir. And, uh, I think tomorrow, uh, we'll try it again, but I think go back to the, uh, pardon the expression, the old equipment. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, the old equipment. Uh, I'm trying to think. Why don't you get some rest, William? Yeah, get some rest. I know what you're talking about, sir. All right. Uh, I'm going to shut this down. I know the other frequencies are all right. I can make them a lot louder, but you don't like them that loud. Is that right, sir? That's correct, William. Okay, well, I'll... Uh, Shut this down and, uh, oh boy, <coughs> tomorrow, I'm sorry, today, <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll put it back on, uh, this equipment, and we'll try it again. Oh, oh boy, I hope you'll excuse this goofed up tape, George. Huh. But I get carried away up here and... I guess the dog on time sometimes, I don't know if I'm coming or going. Yeah. You know, going crazy. But anyway, I wanted to let you know that the equipment you brought, the RF generator and the receiver, as you noted, are now working fine. Uh, and the, uh, the cassette recorder that you sent. The only thing that is not up to snuff is the tone generator. Now, as you saw earlier on the tape, or the other tape, uh, there's just too much noise. Now, what I'm going to do in the next tape, instead of leaving them where you have them marked with white paint, I'm going to set each one up independent of the others uh, and uh, check it out on the on the uh, frequency counter, and then see if it sounds any better. Boy, am I getting tired. Oh. Yeah, cigarettes again, Dr. Muir. <coughs> <coughs> oh, boy, I made myself cough that time. Forgive me, George. I know this is a lot of garbage. Now, one other thing. Uh, Dr. Muir gave me this schematic, and so now I'm building up a little portable signal generator. 
one frequency, the 29.5 megahertz. No other frequency, just that one frequency, a little 9 volt battery, and I'm going to encase it in metal. It has a tendency to drift a couple uh, cycles or kilocycles, and I think if I encase it in metal, it won't. But it can be carried in the pocket, understand? And at the same time, a little cassette tape player with the tones. I mean, a tape of tones, like I was using here tonight. And uh, eventually, a, a second cassette recorder. So that whether if I'm up in the orchard or across the road or wherever I'm at around here, well, I can have the signal generator going with the RF frequency, the tones on the cassette player, and another cassette recorder in the event that Dr. Mueller and I visit up in the orchard or wherever. So, uh, oh boy, I'm just real excited about this. And <laughs> Uh, I hope, I hope that uh, it provokes a little interest on your part. But anyway, I can't wait to finish it, but as soon as I do, I'll demonstrate it, uh, hopefully, on the next tape. But once again, George, forgive the goofing on this tape. The whole section of tape that went by, and I, I, I didn't take the uh, cover off the, le off the lens of the camera. But at least you got the, the audio. So uh, all I can do is apologize. I I guess the dog I'm tired sometimes. Uh, I know last night I sat up here and uh, oh I talked to Dr. Mueller. I don't know better part of 20 minutes. I think it was to the clock. Only to discover that. I forgot to press the remote switch and turn the system on. So when I played it back, <laughs> there was nothing to play back. It just hadn't recorded. It hadn't moved. Oh, boy. But anyway, uh, I'm not going to bore you with any more. And uh, I'm going to have to get some sleep. I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to sleep around the clock. I'm not going to set the alarm or anything. I imagine Mary Alice will be out sometime today to bring me some milk and some bread and a couple other little things that I need. But uh, I'm just going to go to bed and get up when she bangs on the door. So until the next tape then, George, uh, 73s and 88s to G you and Jeanette, that's amateur radio talk for love and kisses. And I'll see you down the log, <laughs> the next tape. So please forgive the goofs.